Hello everyone, welcome to RedKey Tutorial. In this video we are going to learn how to use Mesh Editor. By using this tool we can replace characters with each other, like replacing Siri with Teres or Yennefer. And it's so simple, we can do it under one minute. And it's not just replacing the characters, you can replace any other thing available here. We can also edit them in a few ways, like removing some parts of series out of it, or use different out of it parts from other characters and build a new one. Then you can wear it to any character you want by just a few steps. I could stay right here forever. Now let me show you how. So this is RedKit main page. From this bar, open Asset Browser. Click on this icon. In Depot, open Characters folder. Inside it, open Models folder. Ok, this is the place we are going to spend most of our time. Inside every one of these folders, we have some mesh and entity files that we can edit. And they all edit in the same way. For example, I am going to edit Siri. Siri is located inside the main NPC folder. Find it and open the folder. So these files you see are entity files. Let's start with this, then move to mesh. It's best to work on the armor characters verse most of the time, right? Double click on it. Okay, this is the editor. In the left side, you can view the out of it. Use WASD to move and hold right click, then move the mouse to move camera. Now let's move on to the side. These things here are nodes. We're going to use them to edit the armor. For example, let's replace this whole armor with one of the three out of its. First select all of these nodes and delete them by pressing the delete key on your keyboard. Select them and press delete. Ok, go to asset browser and find Tris entity files. It's also available in main NPC folder. This is it. Open it. Now choose which one of the out of it you want. I go with the main one. Double click to open. Ok, on this side, copy all of these nodes, select all, then right click and copy. Close this, then move to the previous one and right click here, then paste the nodes. Now you should see the out of it in view page. Finally save it, click on this. And hit yes. Done, you good to go. Let's extract the mod. In RedKit main page, come here, click on publish, and select save and publish mod project. Give it a name, version, and a description. It doesn't matter what you type, just type something. Then click next. And start cook the mod. It will take a few seconds. After it's done, you can install it with this option. And to make a mod zip file, use this option. Then you can publish your mod anywhere you want. Now run the game and let's check it out. First find the Surrey and make sure she's wearing the default armor. There she is, half trees, half Surrey. But did you notice we didn't edit neck or her head? And it's just working perfectly fine. It's amazing, thanks to RedKit. Everything done automatically. Now by using this much of info that I gave you, you can make pretty good mods. You can also replace her head and hair with anybody you want. Or replace anybody else's hair, or head, or body, anything about them. 
So you've taken a liking to this place. <sighs> I could stay right here forever. Now let's try something a little different. Get back to a Siri folder. And to return the series armor, right click on the file and select revert. Let's open it again. Now come to Asset Browser and open this model folder. Okay, this folder is where the mesh files are. Every folder in models have it. Unfortunately, they don't have thumbnails, so to find out which one is which armor or out of it or body, we open them one by one until we find the one we are looking for. I am looking for the same as this entity file. Okay, this is Mesh Editor. On this side, come to Loads and Chunks option. So these are the Mesh files you can select on to delete. The difference with previous one is now you can delete only parts of an armor or out of it. And to do that, select one of them, then here, on this option, make the true files. As you can see, it also changes on Entity Editor. Try out other files too. Some have more option to remove than these ones. Well, that's pretty much it. Now you can make lots of out of it mods for different characters. And remember, you also can edit their hair and head. For example, let me edit Siri's head with Tris. First, we find the files we need and open them, then copy the nodes and paste them on the other entity file. Then delete the main ones here. But wait a second, this is not right. The head is not in the right place. When this happens, to fix it, you're simply going to move it and match the scale using this option here. But first, choose the head from node. Click on it. After that, you get to go. But unfortunately, you can't replace anyone with Geralt using this method. Because there is no entity file for Geralt to edit like this. In order to replace Geralt, we need much more difficult process. But this is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hmm. They set their hands on me in one village. In another, they forbade me from taking a drink from their well. Other than that, it's been all right. No one's tried to cheat me out of my reward so far. So you've taken a liking to this place. <sighs> I could stay right here forever. <clears throat> 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 <clears thro
encountered the most charming aspect of being a witcher yet? Which aspect is that? The hatred, disgust, that strange blend of admiration, fear, and contempt. 